What a great episode last time of just child abuse, but not really because isn't Makoto the same age or roughly the same ballpark as our new students? That's right. We are a teacher and we flexed a little bit because these goddamn kids were disrespecting us, calling us ugly because Shiki's so goddamn hot, but it's okay. We did a duel and then we they pretty much were like, holy shit, this guy is like a god and only five people stuck around. But these kids, if they can like master or at least be fluent in like three separate el like uh, elements i feel like at the end of the day these kids are gonna be like the strongest beings at the school because uh, you know makoto is the student now there's some other plot going on with like that blonde kid getting some kind of new steroid shit and some other like mysterious evil figures and like the blue hair girl from tavern sister is actually a librarian at the school but i don't know if she's sus or not anyways let's begin today's reaction cgi 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 Pedestrians, nah, don't you think you can get away? Uh uh, CGI. Two weeks, okay. Got a new merch. This is. Is this shop number two? Or. I don't know. Is this number two or do we have more than that? Oh, it's our four stokers. <laughs> they got the bananas there. Did you see that? They got so many bananas still. Wait, they're getting laid off? <laughs> they're getting laid off? That me, me is so fake. <sighs> Aqua is so quirky, I guess. Energy drinks. Yeah, you write that shit down. Pharmacy and general store that opens until midnight. Alright. <laughs> Black company? Damn, really? Niji Sanji would never allow that. White company then? I don't know. They just want to fuck around. I enjoy the four stokers though. Banana! Becoming a three star chef? Gold diggers, dude! She wants to be wife number three? What, what benefit does she get for being wife number three? They're all just fucking gold digging, right? But third? Why third wife? Or subsequent wife to avoid... I guess, like, third wife is, like, less responsibilities, as he says. It's like... Wait, is that girl coming out of a bench right now? What? She's coming under the bench! <laughs> Love and not gold digging. My dad and mom. Super just rich kids, okay? It's a, marriage is just politics, like politics, right? Are we vibing? Yeah, ex exactly. They actually. Well, why does Tomoe and Miu actually love us? Tomoe fell in love because we just, like. We, we beat her in a battle, and then we made a contract so was it simply because we like overpowered them that they like respect us you know what i mean like like beast girls like in mushoku tensei you like beat them they're like oh my god please marry me and stuff like that you know there is like the samurai stuff the memories but like also mio right i feel i feel like the contract has a big thing with it because even shiki is like super subservient now right so it's like a combination of like overpowering them and the contract I don't know. Okay, back to the lake. Oh, we have a little cabin here now. And our spy! Our spy! Oh, yes. And the Lancer. The ring that they fucking, you know, they... they you, you know that ring that they use? The ball they use against the hero party, right? And they basically, like, nerfed them. So, like... I said this before, like... Why don't we start learning how to make that shit to fuck the goddess? You know? Like, we are trying to, like, um, monopolize Ambrosia, right? The, the all-cure, full restore. But, like, if we could also just, like, mass-produce those rings and, like, sell... I, I don't know. I feel like we could kind of, like, play on both sides of the war and, like, profit. Wakasama did. The spy has been spied! Mio! What is that voice? Yo, that sword is cracked though. Oh, Lily! 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 Oh, why is Lily here? Why is Lily here? Oh, this motherfucker. This. Oh my god. Oh my god. This motherfucker. Ugh. 
Pen Kilni to Kuzunoha to you, show kind of go else to this on the Yoni. That's a dragon lolly, right? Anta, Zuibun, Huruksai, Shabirikata, Serena, shut up, bitch. Older than you. Yeah, what's your name? Fucking Tomiki? Tomato? Tomoka? I refuse to get his name right. I will fuck his name up every time, intentionally or intentionally. I do like Lily, though. Where's the first princess, man? Where's the first princess? Lily's probably like, please shut the fuck up and let me do my thing! This guy sucks so much, dude. This guy's. You can't even draw it! Unworthy! Dude, I'm just upset she's even touching our sword right now. Oh, that was, that was so fast! Shirafuji. What is Shirafuji? Is this a fucking reference to some kind of samurai movie, right? Probably. It's like emanating some kind of aura. Hell no! Why does Lily want it though? She's out here collecting rare weapons. Boo! El Tomoki! For the future of humankind, no, of this world. You implying that only humans, you know, are worthy of this world? Fuck you. Hell no! Mm, mass producing. Try to fight us. Will they just leave? Are we about to see Tomoe trash on this sh shitty ass tomato guy? Are we just about to see something crazy? Try it. Okay, he's gonna control lime. This coward. No, 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 no. Put that shit back. My man has lost his mind as Tomato tries to fucking, you know, control him. No, you won't. No, you won't. No shot it works on her. Ew! No! Gross! Oh, goddamn. Oh, disgusting. Disgusting. He's nothing like Makoto, huh? What a fucking creep, dude. <laughs> so, I guess she likes it that we play hard to get. <laughs> I don't know. He could learn a thing. No, Makoto, no, she wants Makoto to look at him like that. It's just, you know, it's, it's about consent at the end of the day. Oh, he's still, he's still trying. Body and mind. Oh my god. Fuck your magic guy, dude. Oh, oh yeah, she's a dragon lolly. Yeah, wasn't Shun like Shin some kind of like legendary dragon? Excuse me? What did Lily say? The most powerful dragon in the area is like the waterfall, but like Shin is probably like beyond this, right? She's probably in her own like separate tier. That's what I want to believe. She's beyond. Hell no! Fuck your brother! Oh, the lolly can come that. Oh, I don't realize. But isn't this like. Like, like you just started playing Pokemon and you're trying to like control like a level 99 Charizard? Is this even possible? Like, you probably can't even do this, man. Hmm. Can you control her though? <laughs> Yo, they broke her little thing! Yo, her, her little dragon command! I feel bad for the little girl! We're pulling her! <laughs> Fuck off, Lolly. Damn! Yo, you know, be sick. I want to see Lime fight Tomoki, the hero, and Lime win. You know, that would be so sick. <laughs> also, yeah. Huh. So, Tomoe can just like release the evil, the, the control eye too, huh? And he remembers all too. You are a goon! Fuck you! I didn't need that lady. No, 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 no. Okay, now we can kill him, right? Now we have an excuse to kill the hero, right? No, 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 no. Oh. He started this. I have no pity for him after this. Do your thing, Tomoe. 
Tomoe, look a little angry. That's your fucking spy. She's like, oh, shit. You're a baby. Yeah, he is. Shit on him more. Oh, that's right. He got bullied, but I don't care. No, look at him like that more. Bully him more. I'm not going to feel bad. Huh? Actual warning to Lily? She just poured them out? She straight up just poured them out and said, Yo, I'll let this go one time. But you fuck with me again, that hero will vanish. She's too cool. She's too cool, dude. That's so cringe. You're a top-ranked rare character. Like, you are so fucking cringe, Tomaki. I hate you. Oh, dude, vanish him. Just straight up vanish this guy. He sucks. Don't worry. You were controlled. Man, he feels so... Wait, wait. Become my clansman? Well, I'm about to promote into some kind of dragon kin? What, what do you, what, what, what's a clansman? What does that mean? Wait, lime power up incoming? Oh, we're gonna share blood? Blood contract, right? Oh, I'm gonna skip it. We're gonna skip it. All right. She's just eating seaweed kelpies outside raw. It's all right. She, she can eat anything. Is that a dog? What is it? Big wolf thing. <laughs> Mio's dead, guys. <laughs> Mio's dead, guys. <laughs> no, 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 don't be mean to the wolf. Oh, no! Okay, that's kind of fucked up. I, I don't know. I, I feel like whenever like a monster is kind of cute or like dog-like, I don't want to hurt it. <laughs> she just throws it. <laughs> no! <laughs> Poor doggo. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I forgot! This is Hibiki Summon! That's the the sacred thing that the goddess gave, right? Oh, I forgot about the wall. And they meet again! Because, like, they met before! Remember when she first, like, went through, like, a little exhibition battle and then, and then the black spider was there? Yo! This is second reunion, but she probably has no idea, right? She has no idea. Good move, Hibiki. Good move. Because Hibiki, I feel, is actually good. And that black hair. So, Mio might remember Hibiki, maybe? That's not black hair, by the way. That's fucking brown. Bad dog. Guardian beast from the goddess. It's probably super important. Like, what do we... Like, what is, like, a guardian beast? You know, I'd like to understand, like, every detail about it and what it actually does. Are you... Yo, she's not calling her ugly. No, no, no. Hibiki's actually good looking. No, 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 no. Or else the goddess would have shit on Hibiki too. No, no, no. I think they're talking about the personality here. Yeah, it's, it's this like kind Japanese culture personality, I think. Teach me how to cook. Alright. Wakame. Because... Waka, young master. Waka. Is this wordplay of seaweed there? What is that? Why is she guys so excited? Wakame. Wakasama. You know, Wakasama. Wakame. Difference between seaweed and kelp. Ah, uh, I guess this is like a huge deal to her. They look so fucking same. I guess the kelp is like more long and the seaweed looks more like, I don't know, leaf-like. This is seaweed. Wow, this is kelp. Amazing. Miso soup has not been developed in this world, but if we were... Dude, like that's a thing that I think we're not taking advantage of. It's like using modern cooking information, like knowledge and like mass producing it and like opening a restaurant in this world. You know, like fucking... Um, Campfire Cooking in Another World does that, right? Like, other shows where it's, like, isekai and you're back into this, like, time period where cooking is just, like... If you even have salt, it's, like, crazy, right? So, like, if we could just have a miso soup, people would lose their mind. <laughs> Little does she know. Oh, oh, like, Mio's encounter here. Mio's encounter... Exactly. And so the hero of Limia and the spider of disaster were reunited, but they don't even know, right? Well, I'm not sure because Mio said that black hair. Maybe she kind of remember from the past, but, like, this is round two. And Hibiki said, next time I'll kill you, but now she's cooking for her, <laughs> okay? Two days later. 
少し事情がありましてまあそれはどうでいた蓋を煮込む料理についてなのですがそれ多分落とし蓋のことですね。It's, it's a pot. 非常に振る舞ってはいても、傷は想像以上。Oh, cause of our wife dying there. No! 一つお聞きします。Have I met you before? あなた方はそれなりにお聞きします。戦える方だと思います。そうでは、この。Is the monster showing up? お任せして大丈夫かしら無理なら私が済ませます。Or is the monster showing up? Damn. That's a huge fucking praying mantis. Is Mio gonna coach this party? No shot, Mio like improves the hero party here. No, don't be like Naval. You'll die if you're like Naval. Rest in peace, Rick. Oh, he's dead. He's looking a lot like Naval now. Look at this. This is exactly what he said. I'll be like Naval, right? Naval, die! Why would you try to be like her? Mio might have to step in, man. The PTSD. She lost it. Mio, get in there! That's, that's not fair. They got shitty gear and she got trauma, but... Fucking just one shot off screens it. Two shot. Two shot. Tsuyoi! Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's still moving. It's still. Uh, we should be good, right? Look, the fucking. Like, the injury literally healed itself, but, like, the. You know, the, the clothing. It looks good on you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh! Look at her eyes, dude! The Hibiki party is like, what? Overkill! Oh, poor Mio, dude. So if 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 Hibiki's wolf actually cut the kimono like that, like they would have just died, huh? Like on the spot, there would have been none of this. They would have just died, huh? And yes, pouting Mio is very cute. Uh, she's using dark magic, makes them pass out. Mm, then what? Oh, because remember, before. Well, I'm not sure about saving, but we knocked her out after. It's a little secret between the wolf and us, huh? So we know, but okay. It's a sh what would Hibiki think, though, huh? If she realized that this girl that they've been with was the fucking black spider they fought in the beginning. I wonder how they would feel. It's a guardian beast, by the way. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay, they're back in Siege. So I thought Mio might like do like a training arc for them and like down on the grind them. Oh, wow. Yo, Mio should always look like this. Wow. This is, this is, this is great design. Just, it's very, I think it's the same clothing, but wow. Okay. It's more than all right right now. I like this one. I, 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 okay, she, I guess it's too lewd. But this was great. The, Probably the best part is this spider like I don't it's not even a collar, I don't even know what to call this. Like this little neck piece here. Mm, just cherry on top. Is she not worth criticizing? Or or to cook. I guess like all she's doing is just like her little master chef art, but I thought we we're gonna just gear them up and get them stronger. Man. Just boil the fucking kelp and seaweed! What do you mean? Just boil that shit in the pot! You got all the gear you need here. Damn. Yeah. Just take the fucking gear in this shop and get stronger. Okay. They're getting fucking elder dwarf tier gear. They don't even realize the significance of this character right now for free while they have to work for it, but goddamn, they're getting some good treatment right now. Ben, 
You just boiled a fucking... You put the seaweed in the pot, put water in, let it boil, that's it? Yes, mm. she's not care about your safety. Oh, that party. Are they actually better than Hibiki party? Huh. I never really thought that... I mean, they are like pretty high level, but they're straight up better than the hero party right now? That's crazy. <laughs> Damn, the hero party is fucking dookie. They're, like, I'm not trying to shit on our party right now, but, like, look, like, this is the hero party. You would think that the hero party would be fucking strong enough to, like, fight demons and shit, you know? I'd expect some sort of base competency, but this random adventurers are, like, better than the hero party. Then again, they did get coached by us. But I, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> Okay, she's getting better. She can't crack an egg correctly. Oh, God. Too strong. Nerf herself. It looks poisonous. Don't. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. What? Broth tastes better when it's not Boiled? You want to fucking drink lukewarm soup? <laughs> Basically a really nice way of saying you have the taste palate of a fucking garburator. It's just trash. I don't know about that, but you can try. Alright, her culinary journey is approaching a boil. Oh, them again! Wait. Are they doing this new thing where fucking Makoto does a little outro recap? Oh, it's the fucking hot pot cream thing. Ew. Yo. We're gonna meet Hibiki pretty soon then, huh? Hibiki and Makoto meeting up. They were at the same school though, right? Right? Am I crazy? Hibiki was at the same school. And Tomika, the fucking trash hero. He was... Other school. Yeah, Hibiki is in our school. Alright, Miss Gate. Back to Demiplane. What's wrong? Cliffhanger, don't do it! Don't do it! Every goddamn time, man. Why do you gotta do that shit? You're like, what's going on? You're gonna fucking just fuck the tell me. Alright, you'll fucking find out next Monday then. Alright, whatever. Don't tell me. You don't have to tell me. I think the best part of this episode was definitely shitting on this dookie head. This dookie try to fucking take our sword. You're not worthy of our sword. You're trash. You're fucking magical eye trash. Doesn't work. Lily, you're still hot, so you get a pass. But Tomaki, I hate this guy, dude. I just wish that, like, there was, like, a cool scene where, I don't know, Tomoe, like, said, Lime, take him out. And, like, Lime, like, fucking killed Tomaki, you know? Like, that'd be pretty funny, but Tomaki's kind of, you know... He's pretty strong. I mean, he's got broken, busted powers, right? It's just bullshit. I just, I just can't wait for him to meet his own, like, end. Like, there needs to be some kind of poetic justice. I hate this character so much, dude. And you know what? Bullying is bad. Can I, like, like that, that, it's not a hot take, right? Like, bullying bad, I think everyone can agree. Bullying bad, but... Whenever Tomoe was kind of using her memories and kind of like reminding him of that look, right? Like this bullying scene, I was like, mm, bullying good all of a sudden. <laughs> case by case scenario. I think this guy is absolute trash. Oh my God, dude, there needs to be some kind of poetic justice. We didn't really get anywhere in terms of the school plot, but I'm glad that we had this like Different perspective from Tomoe and Mio. Not gonna lie, the Mio cooking arc is not really that engaging. Like, yeah, it's kind of fun, I guess. You know, it's Mio's quirk. She's, you know, she eats trash. She sucks at cooking, so she's trying to get better. But I think the overall point of that is for her to meet up with Hibiki and kind of to raise them up, right? While Tomoe is like doing other shit on the side and even getting to meet, you know, um, Lily and stuff. So this is kind of setting everything up for the future. And we're getting to a point where Makoto might finally meet Kibiki, and I wonder what's going to be the outcome of that. I'm sure we'll figure it out next episode. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.